All right, Justice League. Um, it's pretty meh. I mean, it's it's probably I like. I think one of the biggest problems with Justice League is that when Marvel released the Avengers, we had been given an Iron Man movie, well, two Iron Man movies. We had a Hulk movie. We had a Captain America movie. We had movies establishing all of these characters. And they're all characters that the general audience wasn't familiar with. With Justice League, like, yes, you have Batman and Superman who are ubiquitous. Like, everybody knows who those characters are. And they gave us a Wonder Woman movie beforehand. But they didn't give us anything with The Flash, really, or Aquaman, or Cyborg. And I can guarantee if you took a poll on the street before this movie came out, 95% of people wouldn't know who Cyborg was. They wouldn't know much about Aquaman. And yeah, there's a Flash TV show, but it's not the same. So I think that's one of the biggest problems. This movie has to try to introduce all of these characters that have, you know, long, uh, complicated backstories. And it, the biggest problem with the film really is tone. So Zack Snyder shot the vast majority of the movie, and then Joss Whedon came in to do reshoots and you know uh, rewrite a few things. And those two just like their their styles don't mesh because Zack Snyder has this very like grim dark kind of style, and and Joss Whedon, if you're not familiar with his work, he's done like the Avengers, he did Buffy the Vampire Slayer, he's done a lot of stuff that tends to be for the most part more lighter in tone. And putting those two styles together, just it doesn't work. Um, that's probably, in my opinion, the biggest problem with the movie. And, I mean, there's nothing in the movie that's unique. It's, it's everything that you've seen for the last 10 years in Marvel movies. Like, there's the big fight scene at the end, but it looks the same as all of the Marvel ones. There's nothing in this that really separates it from anything Marvel's done. I think that's the most frustrating thing is like DC should be trying to do something different and not just copying what Marvel's I mean granted Marvel has been very successful over the last 10 years with their franchise but DC needs to do something to differentiate them to not make them just come across as a an inferior copy of what Marvel does yeah Justice League it's not it's not as bad as Batman v Superman now that movie well, it's not the worst movie that I've ever seen. It was probably the most infuriating because they took arguably two of the most iconic characters of all time and that movie was terrible. I'm not going to go into exactly why. I'm sure everybody listening to this has seen the movie and already has their opinion on it, but uh, in my opinion, that movie is, is garbage. This is better than that. And I, I put that down partially to, I think, the... Warner Brothers executives were kind of like, okay, we need a lighter tone with this. And that's, I feel like that's the right way to go. And I know that's similar to what Marvel does, but I think you can do that and still have, have something that differentiates yourself. You know, Marvel, for all the great characters they have, they don't have Superman. And Superman is, is the character that, Superman is a character that should be like, he should be the heart of the Justice League. And he kind of is in this movie, but it doesn't it doesn't really work. And it's not because Henry Cavill is bad in the role. It's because the, his character has been written terribly over the last few movies. It's 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 inferior it's frustrating because Warner Brothers and DC have these characters that if they made a good Justice League movie could be worth like they could make so much money off of it, and it could be such an amazing movie, but they've screwed it up, um, just like they did with Man of Steel, and just like they did with um, Batman v Superman. I haven't seen Suicide Squad, and I actually haven't seen Wonder Woman either, even though I own both of them, but DC has not had a great track record. Now, I know Wonder Woman got amazing reviews, and I, I do plan on watching that soon, but I don't know what DC has to do, but it ha they have to do something and they have to do it quick because if they put out another, like, even one or two movies that are like this, they're going to lose all of their box office appeal. 
because the the average audience isn't going to keep going back if the movies are just average because Marvel movies aren't average. You know, a lot of the other stuff, the Star Wars movies, with the exception of Rogue One, haven't been average. You know, Episode 7 was really good, and hopefully Episode 8 will be too. Uh, there's a lot of big tentpole movies that are coming out that have been very, very good. DC can't can't just be average. They have to they have to go for more than that. I th yeah, the biggest problem with this movie is it's just it's average and generic and boring. Like it's a how is a Justice League movie boring? Anyway, um, that's really a, I guess all I have to say about it is. Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon styles don't mesh. There's a couple of good Joss Whedon jokes in there, and Zack Snyder can direct an ac action sequence very, very well. He'd be a great, like, if his entire responsibility was just to position the camera and come up with shots and not deal with the actors, he'd probably be amazing. But he, his directing style and tone just does not work, especially in this universe. The DC Universe should be more hopeful than that. Um, so yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say. Leave your opinions down below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.